obviously record recording in progress okay let me set this thing up that was a good story by the way we can talk about that in a second here when we do your uh when we do this is your life okay starting the video recording for everybody jane kerr is going to be with us we're going to talk about trends in boutique fitness and jane's recovery and so you know jane's long term with us and so jane video is going radio is not going yet but we will be in a second you know i couldn't tell the lighting looked fine Okay, I mean, good. You, well, I put it up. I mean, I, I'm trying no, looks, to... Okay, yeah, no, good. Looks good. No, it looks great. Good. So, got your topics. I got the um, PDF up over on the other side, which... Okay. I look at that and, and it's like, you know, I don't see any slices of that um, of that pie in the media stuff like what I do. And it's like, oh, see, that's where I say opportunity, baby. This is where I promote people. And I... Yes. You know, is where you get to meet people and it's like well you cut your own path as much as people say well you got to find your niche and i don't really have a niche with all of our topics as you yeah. know but we are in this lane of video radio podcasting and that's that's the lane it's the topics are right wild, but the delivery and maybe i'll do some more speaking but i you know we'll see about that i don't know i mean i'm definitely not going to do it yeah. anymore. i mean we we got enough going on with I, I want to you know the thing I talked about last night I yeah. want to um I want to get more involved with doing course planning and maybe recording yeah. is doing that right. kind of stuff. why I'm working so hard on my my personal fitness so that I can be yeah. my own model and it's yeah like we talked about it. you gotta you gotta show them the package so that people believe the freaking deal and it's like that's right. So, and you can't have that fear, right? You can't have the fear, of, like you putting yourself on the video, doing your exercise demos. I mean, it's yeah. like, you gotta, you gotta embrace it. You gotta be like, yes, hey, this, right. is, this is fun. This is cool. This is good. Yeah. I'm talking to the camera here for people out there in this refirement zone, Jane and I talked last night, it's either retirement or refirement. And this is non-radio specific because we we got a whole nother topic we're talking about. So I'm just talking to the viewers in this pre-show, but FitFix now is a great fit for us because, you know, I utilize Jane's services and, and she, we promote her. She promotes us. We, she helps us. We help them. That's the way it works. And if you want to retire and go that way, that's absolutely totally cool. But both of us, Chris, Sandy, <laughs> our spouses, we're, we're refiring. We're, we're going, we're absolutely last off. I mean, it's like, yeah. this is a real deal, everybody. So I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. The That's more, right. the merrier. <laughs> uh, joining us from her home in her studio in Atlanta is Jane Kurth. Let me minimize this. All right, let's get this bad boy going. Let's see here. Okay. I got a sound check for you. You sound good. Great. All right, let's go. I need you for, you know, the usual hour. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Here we go. Wait a minute. What happened? I didn't hear music. I'm going to take a sip of water. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't hear music. Let me hang on. I, I've got their fans going above head. Let me take them. Oh, I, I can't hear those. Okay. That's why I know. Oh, that's where it is. I don't need them. Oh, I see what happened here. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. This has got to get stopped. I'm going to have to restart this session because I was, I had my cursor in the wrong spot. Okay. I see what's going on. Okay. I got to exit this. Save project. No. Let me start Reaper again. It happens. It happens. See, I like, I'm glad I, and this again is our, Wisconsin setup. So anybody on video that's watching this thing on my computer just went a little nuts because I had something set wrong. So I'm restarting my session. So I apologize for that. But you know, that's all right. Jane Kurth is our guest as we were talking about earlier. And we're going to talk some good stuff here. Dash A. Save. Now we can do this. I'm glad I caught that ahead of time because then it's just like Okay, here we go. All right, Jane. Let me let me try this again. 
At least, I, at least I saw what the hell I was doing wrong. It's all about learning. <laughs> it about sure you. is. Just staying on video, everybody who's watching this in video land here down the road. Keep working. Keep take. Get in there. Don't be afraid to try things. If things get goofed up, just move past it. Don't don't okay. sweat it. If you're doing media stuff, you're doing speaking. Things are going to break. Things are going to happen. Just just roll with it. Just be good with it. Just say you know, take it as a learning experience. Here we go. Last week on this radio program, the Tom Matt Show, I was so grateful to have Dr. Don Lehman on as our guest the metabolic transformation kingpin protein doctor, University of Illinois Emeritus, learned more about protein. I cannot wait to get him back. I cannot wait to cut up that video. I cannot wait for all of you to get a chance to hear that. So if you missed the broadcast, please go get the podcast because it was so outstanding. And I found him through, um, and I want to give some, some plug to uh, Dr. Peter Atia and his podcast, because that's where I found Dr. Lehman, Don, my friend, and um, guy's just amazing. I learned so much about protein in, in an hour. It was just greatness. Well, of course, we talked a couple times this week. All right. Jane Kurth. Oh, my gosh. We have developed such a great friendship over time, and Jane has just got so many good things going on. We complement our work together, Jane is taught college over 20 years. I'll do a quick, real snapshot. Jane's been with us enough times that you can go check all of our, our fitness, nutrition and fitness um, category on the website. Everybody you can find Jane's podcast there. Um, she has presented many times, local national conferences, ACE. She's a certified trainer. She is a professor, uh, retired, got into Fit Fix Now. We've talked about Fit Fix Now, what Fit Fix Now does, how she became such an expert in digital class work and classroom work and demo work and all this kind of stuff. In addition to being the CEO of FitFix, now Jane is a consultant for Silver Sneakers. I always like to say this part. And the former <laughs> member of the over 50 Hip Hop Atlanta dance group. I got to say that every time. I mean, <laughs> yes. He knows what I'm talking about, too. The Silver Classics crew, where she performed with the Silver Classics crew at several Atlanta Hawks games, doing some dancing and partying and having a good old time. She lives in Atlanta. She's joining us from her studio in Atlanta, where she's married to her great husband. We're going to see them not too long. We're going down there. We're going to do some yes. work. First thing, going to see Chris, going to see Jane. We're going to have a blast. going to be good yes. time. Well, welcome back to the show. We're going to call this one Trends in Boutique Fitness, everybody. I want to welcome back my friend, sister from another mister, Jane Kurt. Jane, welcome back. Yes, Tom. It is so great to be back. It's always great to connect with you and Sandy and um I just I love the work that y'all are doing. Well, I appreciate that. You know, it's really interesting that uh we cross paths in such the crazy way that I uh, you know, it's just the way the universe works and next thing you know, it's I don't even know how many years later. It's just just a been a, a great great thing for us. So how is, let's do the, you know, the usual, this is your life. Yeah. How is, fam? How is the grandkids, Chris, everybody go ahead, take your time. With all yep. that. We got, a, we got a great topic today, everybody. So please stick around for this one, but uh, go ahead, talk about the family, get everybody caught up. You know how we do this. Okay. Oh yeah. The family's great. The um, nine-year-old grandson is playing soccer. We'll go tomorrow and watch him. The Four and five year old grandkids in New Orleans are doing great too. Um, we've seen them for both their birthdays this year and did a, a week long vacation with them. Uh, it's it's just it's a high quality of life for Chris and me. We um, we enjoy life. We um, it, my challenge with Chris is telling him don't overdo. <laughs> Because we'll talk today some about recovery and how important recovery is. Right. So um, um, he's doing great. My recovery, if your listeners remember or if they didn't listen to that episode, I fractured my patella uh, probably a year and four to five months ago. I am actually still in physical therapy because when you have an injury like that and I wasn't allowed to even bend my knee for weeks and weeks and weeks, your gait 
uh, you know, she had to really walk me through how to walk again and, and not look strange when I was doing I was used to walking with my leg absolutely straight and as far as going up and down stairs I'm doing that easily now but my hips and pelvis kind of out of whack from all of that so she I so appreciate my physical therapist Jasmine who is at Emory University Hospital um she is determined to get me whole and back, not just the knee, but everything that went out of kilter with that. So, that, um, so that's a really good intro into where we're, a part of the episode today, everybody. Let me reset this just real quick. Jane Kurth is with us, CEO of FitFix Now, founder of FitFix Now, uh, talking about a, an incident that occurred a while ago uh, for Jane within the last year and a half or so. Mm -hmm. In the previous episodes, we have discussed this recovery thing and injury. Because falls absolutely are one of the most debilitating situations yes. for the growing older population, as I like to say. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that a little more in depth farther into the show. Talk talk more about the family and what's been happening with um, with the business and how your son's been helping you because you've been making some, and we'll talk about this as well throughout the show. But the uh, the changes you've made with FitFix now and the social media that you're doing and the, the yes. been tremendous. Well, thank you, and I like to credit our wonderful partner and friend um, Atlanta Digital Marketing, Katie Cochran. Um, Katie has done a, an excellent job with our social media and she likes to tease things out when something new's coming out, you know, kind of saying something new and exciting's coming. Uh, here's a preview. So Katie's been doing that. Blake, my son, who is a co-founder and he's really our CMO, he, he, he works on the marketing. He has really worked to boost our search engine optimization, our SEO. Um, hopefully, most of the time, we're showing up on the first page of Google, uh, which is is great for us. So we, we've continued to grow this year. We've had a good year. Um, it's, it's exciting. Uh, you know, new things are in the works all the time. Um, there'll be probably early 2024, Hopefully, we'll be able to make a, a really exciting announcement, but I'll just tease that out for right now. Yeah, that's good. Now, that's exactly where we wanted to go with this, everybody. We're talking, and when we, uh, we're we going to come up on break here in a couple of minutes, so uh, let me set this up again. Jane Kurth is back with us. Jane is a regular with, with the programming because, you know, we are, if we're not talking about mental health, we're going to talk about physical health, and nutritional health. Those are some really big topics along with our financial fitness and our reality of real estate with our sponsors, for sure. All of our topics, all 12 topics on the website are very, very important for us to, uh, to cover, but there are some that are that rank as Jane was saying a little bit higher on the search engine. Well, with us, that's the same here. I mean, the way we feel about things, because there are certain things that you need to understand going forward. So trends in boutique fitness and Jane's recovery. Jane, we got a minute before we go to break. Just give us a snapshot of what you're thinking here, and then I'll uh, I'll give you the signal. And we'll go to break. Well, recovery is now a very hot, important issue in fitness, and uh, you know I we'll talk a little bit later if you want to about my aura ring that I wear. Yep. And, and, uh, you know, there's some great devices to help us in recovery and professional athletes are really taking advantage of recovery so that they can really perform at an optimal level. And I have to say, to follow up with that whole thought, having Dr. Lehman on last week, who is a protein expert, everybody, talking about studies and having long-term studies and data to back mm -hmm. up all of the stats that support what we're talking about is vitally important. And that's one of the yes. reasons that since the year 2000, frankly, so many things have occurred that have like elevated our knowledge base because mm -hmm. we have the technology. We just have learned so much more 
and it's a wonderful time to be alive. All right, so here we go. Jane Kurth, we're going to go to break here. Jane Kurth is back. Trends in boutique fitness plus her recovery and personal recovery for you. You're listening to The Tom Matt Show. Cake. So easy. Yeah, it, it's just easy talking to you. You make it easy. Thanks. Yeah, no, it's been fun stuff. Just fun stuff. All right. Get my card here. Yeah, what do you want to um, kind of go into in the next segment? Well, I'm going to jump right into um, your your recovery first. Okay. Some of the things that you haven't talked about, but just the, the length of time. And I like the fact that you discussed getting you back to normal and, mm-hmm. and setting expectations for people. Because one of the things I, I really, I know for me personally, that people start to feel better after an injury and they get going too fast and then they re-injure. Yeah. They need to understand what you're talking about with this recovery and listening to their docs, mm-hmm. maybe get a second opinion, but taking it slow because, it, you know, and, and we're older. As we grow older, it takes longer, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. I mean, so start there and then we'll work our way into the uh, the trends with all of this. And okay. I'm just, just going to riff right on your email and I've got that chart, that PDF up. Okay. Over here quit blinking on me which they like to do (laughs) sure it's just got to read to do here so let me do this quick and then we'll get going welcome back to the radio program tom max everybody this segment sponsored by craig siles ameriprise financial our ameriprise financial advisor and hopefully yours as well moving forward craig has been helping us for a long time and now he's officially been a sponsor for several years and we have all of our refirement zone savings with Craig, Craig, Craig. Craig's our man. He's the guy. I like to do the cheerleading thing. Meriprice Financial <laughs> Advisor Craig Styles can help you like he's doing with us, helping you and us plan for the life you want today and well into the future. Again, with the right financial advisor, life can be brilliant. Be is, and please call Craig 1-800-528-1355. Local numbers, 517-483-4893. I have referred many people over to Craig Stiles from Michigan State University who said, hey, I heard that on radio. How do I get a hold of Craig? And this is the way we do it. I mean, he gets these phone numbers. You can go to our website. You can do it at the bottom of the homepage. I'll give you his website in just a second here in his email. But again, the phone numbers, 800-528-1355 and 517-483-4893. And his offices are located at 2400 Lake Lansing Road. Sweet B is in B is in brilliant Lansing, Michigan. Great thing about Ameriprise, as I say every show, they're a nationwide company. Just like we do with Brock, Brock, Brock and Keller Williams, who is another nationwide company. That's what makes having the podcast and outreach so impactful for all of you. Stations carrying us, broadcast network, on radio, AM, FM, PBS, all the way across the board, WGHN 92.1 FM in Grand Haven, Michigan on the Lake Shore, WGM 1240 AM, Lansing, Michigan, the flagship of the Michigan Talk Network, which we are on 50 plus stations, WGRW 1340 AM in Grand Rapids, carried us for a long time, WKLQ 1490 Muskegon Whitehall, WIPV FM 94.5 Mackinac City, and of course, the flamethrower at Michigan State University our PBS affiliate, which we want more PBS. If there's anybody out there in the PBS land, I'd like to be on more PBS affiliates. We got the perfect package for you for an hour long weekend show. And we've been on WKR at Michigan state for like five years. So hit me up, go to our contact box and send me a note on that. I'd love to, I'd love to talk to people about that. AM 870 in East Lansing, blasting the signal and 102.3 FM on the simulcast. Again, thank you to Craig Styles for creating Desideri Analytics, where we are making light of weighted decisions. That's his proprietary algorithm. And the Michigan Talk Network, Stephen Ivy Gruber, thank you guys so much for carrying us on the syndication. We have our books on Amazon. Please check those out. There's four of them there. Jane Kurth is back. Trends in Boutique Fitness. Before we get into the trends, which is, it's so exciting what's coming with trending in 2024 and forward of health, wellness, recovery, all these things. 
Let's talk specifically, Jane, about your recovery. You started the thread of your uh, your injury. You, t- you told the listeners a little bit about that. There's a previous show that we did almost exclusively on that. And so um, you're, you're a year plus into this recovery stage. What's your, what's your vibe right now? How are you doing? <laughs> what's your vibe right now? And what would you like to share with the listeners that you, you believe is impactful that they need to know? Yeah, Tom, uh, you know, when I think back pre-injury, uh, my modes of, of training were um, in cardio. I, I, I've never really been a runner. I've done intervals. So I would do intervals for cardio, maybe Zumba classes. Um, and and for uh, mostly for strength, I would do some weights, but I preferred to do body weight resistance with doing uh, yoga. I was avid about yoga. I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. Um, in recovery, like I said, I, I I had to learn to really know how to walk again with the correct gait. And so, um, you know, I would start out just walking, but it had to be level. Then the PT would say, okay, you can add a few hills now. So slowly progressing. Um, I still haven't done a lot of interval training yet. I'm just I may be overcautious, but I want to recover well. And uh, I had an orthopedist that told me that I needed to be doing um, an un- unbelievable amount of weight on leg press. And I needed to be doing squats with a 50 pound kettlebell. And I, I'm like, um, that just doesn't sound right for me, especially from being injured. So I switched orthopedics and he said, no, you need to listen to, you've got a great physical therapist. You need to listen to her. So I have, and my mode of training now, of course, along with walking a few intervals here and there, um, I have really gotten into Pilates. The first thing I did with Pilates was there's a, a physical therapy clinic near my house that is a private pay physical therapist and they have a few classes during the week and I started out going to a Matt Pilates class taught by a physical therapist no more than six in the class so she was very intense on form making sure everything was positioned right so that was amazing through giving a review of her of her facility I I won a month at a Pilates franchise that uses the reformer. And if you're not familiar with the reformer, Chris says it looks like a medieval torture box, <laughs> and, but it's not. I've known about Pilates since I was a dancer. And in the eighties, dancers would train on the Pilates reformer doing Pilates. So it it felt very familiar to me. I love the reformer. It is so good for body alignment, body placement. So um, that has been, I, I do Pilates. I try to do it now four times a week wow. just because it's been so, um, so important in my recovery and I'm building strength like crazy. Pilates is all core. It is so core based. And so I am I'm getting stronger and back to my normal um, routine. What would you like to say to the listeners out there about time and and our most precious resource in the recovery phase? You got a minute to go before we go to break here. And I'll just yeah. a, a quick answer on that. What would you like to share with the listeners just in a snapshot? As far as time, as far as length of workout, length of working out, how long before you can feel like you're back to normal? To begin to feel like you're back to normal, you really have to listen to your body. You know, anything that I, anything that bothered my knee or hip, I said, no, I'm not doing that. So I really listened to my body. As far as length of working out, it has to be progressive that progressive overload, like our body gets used to the demands that we put on it. So I started out 
you know, walking for 10 minutes. And then I would increase it as I got healthier and healthier. So really knowing your body and when you're ready to increase it, don't stay at that same level because your body gets used to it and doesn't respond. All right. And when we come back, we're going to talk about what people can expect with that, because that leads us into the recovery aspect of the show and the nichiness of what's coming with boutique fitness. Jane Kurth is here. She's our expert on all things trendy in fitness and exercise. FitFix now CEO. Tom Mansion. Got to do a quick read for me and then we'll jump right back. Just finish the thread of um, people just being just when you start feeling better to understand that that's when the, that's when things can go wrong because yes, especially with back problems, but with, oh, anything, yeah. you know, that then that's, you gave a good intro into that. Let's just kind of finish. I'll just say, Hey Jane, let's finish the thread on what you would like people to uh, realize. And it's just remind people. Don't, when you start feeling better, chill. <laughs> yeah. Don't overdo. Overdo. Right. There we go. Here we go. Third segment of the Tom Matt show is sponsored by us for now. I think we have a new one coming on here very soon. Again, sponsorships for our radio program are very, we're very, very selective. So to be a segment sponsor, which we have one other one available, you could reach out to us and you'll be embedded with our radio program. But the simplest way to connect with us is via our website, TomMattShow.com. Please go there, check the contact box, away you go. The YouTube presence is there. The TikTok buttons are there. All of these things, Twitter, all of the carriers for the podcast are there. So whatever flavor you like, either, you know, Google Play or iTunes or whatever, Spotify, any of those, they're all there. They're all on that website. Please go there. We want to build an engaged society and team. That's why a person like Jane Kurth or Dr. Don Lehman, who was on last week, our, our expert now in protein, trying to help people live longer and prosper, just like Mr. Spock would say. The whole thing is about the three C's, everybody, the three C's of community collaboration and cooperation. The R for Z the refirement zone, as we call it, is all about it. That's what we're all about, and that's what we're going to be all about, always. Jane Kurth is with us, Trends in Boutique Fitness. Jane, let's finish the thread. We uh, we, we ran out of time last segment about the uh, recovery with your, with your injury, and you had a couple quick things for listeners out there just to kind of keep in mind. We're not preaching, everybody. We're, we're coming. This is straight from us because we've been there, and we've gone through this, and Jane has gone through this. What would you like to add on to the end of that? And then we'll start talking a little more on the recovery side of boutique fitness. Go right ahead, please. Yeah, Tom, I think it's essential for people who are recovering from an injury to realize that they're still in recovery and not to overdo it when they're feeling better to jump back in full force. You, you cannot, your body can't do that. And you're just going to either make that injury worse or create a new injury, which you don't want. Safety is the most important thing. I also want to encourage the listeners that if they're recovering from an injury and let's say they're at the gym lifting some weights, don't feel like you're in competition with anybody else. I struggle with that all the time. I'll go in Pilates class and I'm like, okay, I've got to be able to do this because the girl next to me is doing it great. It, I encourage you to stay away from that. Know when to modify. It's not a bad thing. That's right. That's absolutely right. You know, one of the reasons I, I still train at the university when I'm in Michigan, which is a good chunk of our, of our months is because I want to remind myself that I, as one of the older if not the oldest, I'm up, I'm right up there. There's only a few of us there. Well, cause it's a college, it's a university. Oh, yeah. I mean, so I've had to dial back my work and it's, it's, it's just a good check to know that you can still have great workouts and you don't have to be what you were doing 25, 30 years ago, because exactly. Those, 
And what Jane is saying, we have both been through, you start feeling better, especially with like a lower body injury or a back injury. When you start feeling better and you're just so happy, you're feeling better. You go out and you do something and then boom, you're knocked back on the couch. Neither one of us as fitness professionals, neither one of us want to see that happen for Mm -hmm. you. All right. So good segue jumping off point here for the rest of the program, everybody, when Jane wants to talk about, and I want to discuss this with her as well on the, um, the, the the increase in wellness services. We're going to spend the bulk of the rest of the show talking about this because, well, Jane, you can explain it, you know, in the, in the big grasp here, take the, take some time here in this segment to kind of lay it out. You know, this industry really well, you've seen the trends, you do the studies, go right ahead, please. Let's talk about this. Yeah. You know, Tom, uh, one of our previous, um, talks together we talked about the blue zone communities and where people live a high quality of life into their 90s and 100s and if you haven't seen it there's a great netflix documentary uh for a four or five part series on the blue zones and and it's excellent it's it's very good uh, but that i think the wellness concept that it's not just physical fitness. There's our emotional health. And and I love, Dr. you told me about Dr. Peter, Peter Atia, um book, and it, it's a phenomenal book. But in it, he says, if we, I, I, and this was in the introduction, I thought, he, it, what if we work out and do great things and ignore our emotional well-being? You know, then it kind of goes to waste. So we want to look at the whole person, the, the the whole area of wellness, and include all the parts. And I think the fitness community is really beginning to realize that. It's taken a little while for things to catch up, but like I mentioned, and I've said a couple of times during this episode, Jane Curse, our guest today, everybody, talking about trends in fitness and the boutique industry and fitness. Because that's really where the that's really where the emphasis is going, is very targeted work, targeted recovery. But um, it it really comes down to the tech. It comes down to how much more knowledge that we have. Again, as I mentioned, talking about Dr. Layman, right. yes, the last week's uh last week's interview with uh, the protein expert. They just as we were younger, us younger baby boomers, we did not have that tech that they have now that our that our young people have and that's the cool thing about what we do jane is we get to collaborate with the young people like your like your staff and your son and all of these younger people all these trainers that you have i get to do the same thing with the college students as i was mentioning it really helps keep us fresh and on top of our games doesn't it yes it does it it really does and I, i want to encourage the listeners to embrace technology i know a lot of people fear it if you're not under 30, you know, or under 40, but, but embrace it. Like I mentioned earlier, I wear this aura ring. Um, There are several recovery devices, but the the two that are the most popular are the aura ring and the whoop band. And I wear an Apple watch and, you know, my Apple watch every day lets me know if I hit my goals well these are preset goals that it's testing me on it doesn't take into account if say uh, when i would have a covid vaccine i would run a low grade fever during the night and the next day the aura ring uh, app would tell me your body temperature was elevated your resting heart rate was higher than normal you need to rest today and but if I listen to my Apple Watch, which Chris calls them the rings of shame, <laughs> because they shame you if you don't complete those rings, you can't rely on that. There are days you need to recover, and professional athletes are finding that out now. And the Whoop band has added into it strain. So when you do resistance training, it tracks that. And my aura ring now has um, implemented daytime stress. So I can look at my chart 
and it's based on heart rate and heart rate variability to know whether I'm relaxed, restored, engaged, or stressed. And uh, very of, interesting. But you're, you know, and the thing is, the thing that I'm catching from this, you got the whoop band, you got the yeah. aura ring, you got the Apple watch. <laughs> yes. You know, my, my fear with the Apple watch, and this is, no offense, I'm going to carry this through because we're going to come up on break here. I'm looking at our clock. We got about 30 seconds to go. I told Sandy this recently because I was looking at Apple Watches. Our grandson has an Apple Watch now because yeah. long story with all of that. But um, I'm like, well, maybe I want to get an Apple Watch. But the thing is, is I've had polar heart rate monitors. I've had two of them, the really good ones. Right. Back in right. the day, I broke both of the watch. I'm so hard on these things. It's like, yeah. I know I'll break them. And so it's like, uh, probably not my cup of tea. The Aura Ring would probably be something that would work for me. And, and everybody's a little bit different. I'm going to take this through everybody because we're coming up on, on break. Jane Kurth is our guest. Trends in boutique, fitness industry, Nicheville. Here we go. Talking tech. We're going to talk more about this. Again, Jane Kurth is our guest. This is the top management. Cake. Do Brock's read. Keep on keeping on. Jane, I was thinking I would go to the chart. Now the future trend yeah. from uh and we could just probably wrap the, the whole next two segments with that. So um it's so interesting the the way it's broke down. So you good with that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Let me get my Brock read. Do, 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 do. Love doing radio, you guys on video. Love doing this stuff. So fun. Here we go. If you've never watched any of the video, you guys, on radio, if you ever ever watched any of our videos, you might want to do it once in a while. Just go see what goes on between the scenes, between each segment, and uh, me talking to the camera, talking to our guests, setting things up. It's pretty interesting, actually. And I, I personally, now, I'm, I kind of... I like watching it when I edit the uh, the video. So welcome back to the radio program. The sponsor for our fourth segment is, of course, Brock, 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 with the selling team of Keller Williams Realty Trust. Just sent him another client. In this, in this environment where we're at now with real estate, if you do not have somebody that you trust, like a Brock Fletcher, and full disclosure, Mike Dedman was our buyer's agent for Little House Lansing. Brock Fletcher, the man, the, the real guy, was our seller's agent for Big House Holt. And he hit the number spot on. Perfect. I mean, it was, it worked out so great. It's because of the trust that we have with him. A couple of phone numbers here, everybody. 517-853-6408. Okay. 6408. The, here's the super secret, not so super secret. Cell phone number to Brock's pocket. Text him. Call him, leave him a voicemail. He will get back to you. He changes his greeting every day. I say that occasionally, how much I appreciate that being the former telecom kind of geek that I am. 517-303-3262. Go to kwsellingteam.com, kwsellingteam.com. Again, both of our sponsors, Craig, 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 Brock, 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 our homepage, TomAntShow.com. Bottom of the homepage, go there. Click on the banners. Away you go. I don't know. We got to put Jane up there too. We got to put her. Put her <laughs> we just want you to be able to click through to these, to the people that we support and who are regulars with us. So please go to the bottom of that homepage and you'll find several different sponsors, maybe not sponsors, just friends to us, but we just, we want to support and get the knowledge out there and make it easy for you guys to search. That's the whole point of the website. Again, Selling team of Keller Williams Realty, we appreciate them. They support us. They're our fourth segment sponsor, and we utilize their services, have in the past, and 100% endorse my friend Brock Fletcher. All right, back to our show today, Trends in Boutique Fitness. Jane Kurth is with us, and we're talking um, the Trends in Boutique Fitness. I'm going to go to a chart, which I will put up on the website um, when, we, when we have this going here uh, down with the podcast. I'll link back to it for you guys and you can find this, but Jane's going to talk about this because it's, it's future trends in the fitness industry. And I find, found this to be very fascinating. It's a little complicated, but it's colorful. 
and it really breaks things down. And I just wanted Jane to kind of just riff on all of them because I found the stats and the numbers, Jane, to be quite interesting. Some of them are very evenly paced, and then there's some big chunks that are like, looks like they're planning on dominating this this whole area. Go right ahead, please. Well, Tom, you know, uh, when I found this study or this um, survey that I think it was Mariana Tech, which is a boutique fitness software, did to come up with these wellness trends. Um, it, when you think of wellness trends, you want people to think that they need to eat right. They need to stay hydrated. They need relaxation. They need sleep, which a lot of people don't get enough of. And they need, they really need to stretch their body. So in looking at the wellness trends, it, 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 the, the document also stated that boutique fitness uh, facilities are growing. You know, they're getting more and more popular. So as they grow in popularity, they want to add more options for their customers to live a healthier, complete wellness lifestyle. So as we can see, 32% are bringing in nutritional services, and and that's to help their clients eat better. Um, I know that some facilities I can think of locally, they now have a registered dietitian that their uh, clients or customers can consult with. They, they're bringing in recovery classes. It may be, you know, that there's a, a big rise in these franchise stretch facilities. Um, you may have seen Stretch Lab, Stretch Zone. I know in Atlanta, they're both here in several locations. They're franchises. So stretching is very important. But also in recovery, they want to think about um, sleep. You know, sleep is a huge part of recovery. And that's why... When I mentioned the aura ring, I, I track my sleep. Chris has an aura ring. And it's funny because every morning, one of us will say to the other, well, how'd you sleep? And we'll say, I don't know. I got to check. I got to check my aura ring, because the, the app, because it lets you know if you got deeps enough, deep sleep and enough REM sleep. And, you know, and, and of course, you're probably going to get enough light sleep. That's usually never a problem. Uh, so, you know, 20 percent from this chart that we're talking about bring in recovery classes. And I think especially stretching is part of that. Another big portion is um, the meditation and me breath hold, work. Can I, yeah. Can I hold you for just a second there, Jane? Sorry, I don't mean to yeah. interrupt. But no. See, in looking at this chart. 32%, what Jane was just, let me reiterate what Jane was saying, everybody, 32% are nutritional services, and then another 20% are recovery classes. This is from a chart, Future Trends, from MarianaTech.com that I will link back to so you guys can find this. But that's 52% of the chart are just in those two areas. Yes. So obviously, everybody, they're finding that the trends moving forward, the science, the tech, the money is going into these new niche, unique boutique areas of these facilities. And so that's just be aware. That's, that's a, to me, to me, Jane, that was a big number. That just kind of 52%. It's like, wow, that's, that's large. Absolutely. That is a very large area to show the importance of it and how people really want these things now in their life. Then, then you add in your next component where you're going on the chart. You're 16. Uh -huh. That that just ties back to the to the nutritional and the recovery classes. So you could actually, in yeah. my mind, in my mind, Jane, you could put meditation and breath work in with recovery classes. Absolutely, be part of the same thing. So just keep that in mind, yes. everybody. When you see this, you might think, well, isn't that the same thing? Well, sort of. I mean, right? I mean, that's part of what your classes teach at FitFix now too. Yes. And, and I, I, I personally teach a stretch and relax class every Tuesday at Atlanta tech village. We have co-working space there. And for 30 minutes, 
a lot of the young people there will come in and stretch and relax. And we, I, I have them breathe through, you know, the whole, the whole class I'm, I'm coaching them on breathing. And at the very end, we take five minutes for in yoga, it would be called a, a Shavasana, but it, you lay there and it's more meditative. So, okay, I, so I teach what, that once a week. On the selfish part of Tom's life, I'm going yeah. to throw this right out there right now because we're coming down to see Jane and Chris, Sandy and I are in uh, in January, early February of next year. What day is that class? And can we it's, go do that class with you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Chris goes with me a lot it's, to do it. What day does that fall on? Because we're going to schedule. It's, it's always on a Tuesday. Tuesdays. Okay. Okay. You said that. Tuesday I just at noon. To... Yeah. Right. Tuesday at noon. All right. So if anybody's in Atlanta, it's yeah. a tough village. Yeah. In, eh, early February, late January of 2024. You can, you can look for us over, over there doing doing the thing thing. <laughs> That's right. Tom, we'll promote it that you're coming. Hey, that'd be great. You know, it'd be fun. Yeah. Well, there's the whole thing about it. when you interact and I have made Jane, I got to tell you, I'm going to carry this through too, because I want to, I've only got sure. a sure. No, I have made more connections at the university gym this year with students than any of my other 25 years i mean it's it's very interesting i have a little black book everybody that's just tattered i used to write all my workouts and all this stuff but now i just use it for writing down students names years majors you know what how i can help them who i can introduce them to so forth and so on and i'm on my second page and i've never done that before in this semester and we're you know two-thirds away into the semester that's really good and it's really cool and it's like this the students post finally finally Post COVID, the students are receptive. They really are embracing the older guy trainer in the mm -hmm. gym who's over there just just getting it done. And you know, you make that eye contact with them. They see that you're a regular. They see that you're for real. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to prove my worth by just showing up every day and doing my work. And people people will notice. That's the thing about going to Jane's course because when you go to these courses and you teach these courses, people develop this respect factor. So right. keep that in mind when you're going to the gym. Don't be intimidated by the younger folk because they're they're all there. They they're doing their this the same thing. Jane Kurth is with us. Trends in boutique fitness. We're going through future trends. When we come back, we're going to finish the show with that. You're listening to the Top Man Show. I've you're written down three things that I want to talk to you after we're finished. Okay, that'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, this is your plug, 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 Jane. So speaking, classes, books, whatever, cla whatever you want to plug, plug, plug. Uh, okay. Do your soft, do your soft lead for your, uh, the new thing, which we know is coming. Um, all of that good stuff. So, um, but make sure you plug Fit Fix now for, I, I'm going to be doing my research as I told you probably. Yeah. Being in November, December, I'm going to start my classes and hopefully have them done but maybe i'll do them all i'm down and down south i don't know we'll see i like having stuff done ahead of time i'm pro proactive when it comes to that but i'm me I'm, too <laughs> yeah you know how that goes um yeah. but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw it to you coming out of break here okay okay here go. this segment of the tom Ant show is where we plug 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 the heck out of our guests and for all of you out there who are just picking this up on the podcast and the radio stations that carry us for the fifth segment, thank you for carrying us on the fifth segment. There are a lot of stations in the in the syndication that do not. And for those of you, just, just please go. If you miss any portion of the show, any portion at all, go to the website, TomHatShow.com, and you can pick up all the podcasts. Very easy to find, very easy to sort and search. Please go there. All right. You want to get a hold of Jane. You want to talk to the Fit Fix Now people. You want to just talk to Alan, whatever. Chris, the whole the whole family down there. How do we do it? Jane's going to about to tell us. Go right ahead, Jane. Well, Tom, uh, you know, at Fit Fix Now, we're always trying to know what the trainers, um, even fitness enthusiasts, are interested in. And, and th this... Uh, document that we talked about, you know, really gave us some insights. Of course, we're including the nutritional service. You know, we've already got the nutrition courses that are from registered dietitians. Um, but 
some of the newer things we're wanting to do, um, I actually recorded a course yesterday with one of our course partners on uh, working with clients on their body image, which I think is huge. And something you said earlier, she actually said this. She said, don't compare yourself with your younger self as far as body image goes. Right. And, you, you know, I, and you mentioned when we were talking about comparing, don't say, well, I used to lift this amount of weight when I was in my 20s. Um, so we're excited about that course. The one we're really excited about, we just got back on Monday from a trip to Lexington, Kentucky to record this class. We recorded it at one of our um, partners' gyms. She's got a she's got two very successful gyms in Lexington, Kentucky. And so Chris Blake and I drove to Lexington and filmed these classes. Um, and it's going to have to do with stretch. Because, you know, in my younger years, I was a ballet dancer and I owned a ballet studio for 14 years. Stretch has always been a huge part of my life. So um, as it's becoming more important in the recovery zone, we thought, you know, we really need to get a, a really big, important stretch class out there. So we're going to be talking small group stretching, uh, assisted, um, assisted isolated stretching, all kind of things to give trainers more, more things in their toolbox that they can pull out and offer to their clients. I, I love that we have, I feel like we have an exponential reach. You know, Chris calls it compound interest, but we train the trainers and they train their clients. And, and it's about that meaningful, good work to helping people be healthier and live a, a higher quality of life. 100% agree with everything she just said. All of this compounding, all of it, helping with people. And the other thing to be aware of too, is the opportunities, everybody, perhaps you don't want to be a personal trainer. You might want to go into the management side, or you might want to go into the ownership side or the franchisee side, or you might want to go into the stretch side, because all of these boutique areas that we're going to continue talking about here, some of them don't require an extensive CPT. Although I would encourage you to eventually- right. CPT, you could start out, you could mm -hmm. start out on a lower scale and get into the business and see if you like this. And anytime you get training in a physical fitness activities, promote movement area, boutique fitness, any of this, it's going to help your life because yes. this, these things will transfer to you personally, because you're not going to be able to teach these things unless you walk the walk. If you don't walk the walk, your clients are not going to pay you to help them. So that's the bottom line on all this. So I like what you said, Jane, and, and uh, give the website one more time so people know exactly where we're going with Fit Fix Now. Please go right ahead. Okay, it's fitfixnow.com. And um, our email address, if you just write either jane at fitfixnow.com or info at fitfixnow.com, we're always happy. We we really want to focus on customer service. And, and That's we really. I'm sorry, Jane. I mean to step on you, but it's it's it's. I just want to remind, like we do with every time Jane's here, that the courses that are offered at Fix Fix now, they are research courses for personal training, but they're available to anyone. And if absolutely, you are, you're interested in learning at a very very reasonable cost. And let me tell you, I have taken. I've been certified for 14 years now. Every two years, I have to get these research. I know about taking courses. I know how much courses cost. I know how much time invested. The thing I love about Jane's courses, they're bite-sized. They're cost-effective. They're doable, where some of these other courses are so massively long and they're expensive. It's like, oh, but, you know, the courses, you have such a wide variety, Jane. It's really interesting. Leading us back to our chart, because we've talked about, Nutritional services that are on the chart, that's 32%. And then you talked about the 20% of the recovery classes. Now, we're talking about the new trends in boutique fitness now, everybody. And this will be the link I'll put up on the website for Jane's recap. 
And then the 16% was meditation breath work, which kind of goes into the recovery. Gene, let's finish the rest of the show talking about those other subsections of that chart. So, and where you think that's important, what, what do you think they're all important? I mean, I think, I, I believe they're all important. I think you will too, but it's, it's just an interesting breakdown. Go right ahead, please. Yeah. Th- Next, it goes into the ice baths or the uh, cryotherapy. And what's your, I what's, know, your feel, what's your feeling with the ice baths, Jane? Because I, I do, I do not want to do them. I do there ain't, not. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. I've done ice baths at the Michigan Athletic Club before. Yeah, like these yeah. ice plunges that they do with these. Not happening. Yeah. And and when we were at URSA, the big you know conference, there were the cryotherapy like things that you step into and you can see the the cold coming out of them and I just I am not ready for it. I'm sure it serves a process uh, you yeah. know because icing is so important for injuries it, there there's physiological principles of why it works I just don't feel like it's for me <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing about this boutique fitness, everybody. Yes. Where you can pick and choose. And as you find gyms that will offer different services and amenities, then you know how to choose and, and invest your, and think about, don't think about spending money, everybody think about investing in your health because yes. being ill, being sick is very expensive and you might think on the back end, uh, you know, I can't afford that. Uh, you can't afford not to, because especially the growing older population. And hey, God bless all the athletes that are out there, professional athletes in the chiro, chiro therapy. I have seen it. I have seen the demos, and I'm not opposed to trying. <laughs> but I've done the ice baths, and it's like, mm. but hey, if they're effective and you're you're at a high level performer, good for yes. you. Go for it. I, I say go for it. What do you got next, Jane? Um. They talk about massage, you know, um, or a spa in, in the boutique fitness. Massage is great, you know. Um, it, it, you know, the the thing, uh, massage. The therapist is moving your muscles around, but I, I prefer stretch, even if it's the assisted isolating stretches, because. It moves the muscles. You know, the person is actively helping in that. Uh, but but massage is great. Massage is great and serves you know, and a I, big and I purpose. I utilize massage. And Jane and I were talking about this stretch that I do, my lower body stretch that I do with people when I train them. And it's very, it's, it's, I mean, it's, I get down and dirty and it's painful. It's like a deep tissue massage, but it's deep stretching. And so, and every, every person I've done this move on that I've learned at Michigan state, watching all the big football players getting stretched by the trainers, everybody that I do this move on for their legs, they come out of there. They're just like, I feel like a new person. So the stretching is so, so valuable. Jane, we got about. We got two minutes to go before we wrap this bad boy. I know it's blown by. What would you like to close with? You're almost done with your chart, but go ahead and finish with whatever you'd like, and then we'll wrap this bad boy. Well, the, we they do address light therapy, and I'm not real familiar with light therapy other than it's been used for seasonal affective disorder, you know, for people who live in very rainy environments and don't see a lot of sunlight. Like we do, yeah. Yes, yes. So... You know, there are advantages to light therapy. And then the only other section was, they say other. So I guess they just throw everything else that could be possible in boutique fitness into that category. What's your uh your takeaway on that, James, on, on the whole boutique fitness industry? I think the boutique fitness industry serves a wonderful purpose. Um, the big box gyms, it's more cookie cutter, boutique fitness. You maybe get more individualized attention. You, um, you're you in a smaller environment. It's probably not as intimidating. So I, I encourage people to support these boutique fitness facilities. I love it. That's Jane Kurth talking boutique fitness, trends in boutique fitness, and her recovery going to wrap this bad boy if our show fits your business or group's mission we want to be of service to you 
you know what? We've got a couple of segment sponsors that we could possibly talk about. Hit us up, TomMatShow.com. Always remember, before you can share love with others, you must love yourself first. Thanks to my very, very good friend, Jane Kurth. Say hello to Chris. Say hello to Alan, Sandy, Matt, Craig Stiles, Brock Fletcher, everybody that's out there, Samantha Medved. We will talk to you next weekend, everybody. Have a great week. Remember, Tom Matt Show is a production of Boomers Rock Media. Lastly, I want to say, what up to my hero, Mitch Anderson, our producer of this show. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. We're out. That flew what by. A- it flew it by. Always does. It always does. It's always good. And we'll cut it up and we'll make it all good. And and yeah. uh, go from there. What did you, uh, can, oh, I take a, a cup- can I take a quick break real quick and, yeah. just, and then come right back? Absolutely. Go okay. ahead. But you do the same if you need to. I'm good. I've got water. I'm comfortable. Sorry about that, Jane. I just had to I had to run to the nope. restroom. No what worries. Did, what did you want to talk to me about? Okay. Um you might uh if you may have already thought about it, but tag um aura ring. It's O U R A. O U R A. Yep, I've got it. Yeah. Tag aura ring and whoop band. And they'll probably the again? tag. Oh the, the, uh, the whoop band is W H O O P. It's like hoop with a W in the front. Okay. okay, got it. Yep. The other thing is when you come to Atlanta, one person I really want to introduce you to, hopefully he'll be in town at Atlanta Tech Village. His name is Jeff Gray. And um, Jeff Gray has started a, a thing called Age Tech. And what he does is bring together all these companies that are in age tech, like um, he's, he, uh, I noticed he posted on LinkedIn yesterday, a young man that has companion robots that look like dogs and cats for elderly adults. He has, I mean, anything you can think of that would be interesting I mean, he's had me speak. I'm part of Age Tech, and he's had me speak there because of our fall prevention course. So Jeff's just a great guy. He um, he has a, a startup called the Memory Book because his mother died of Alzheimer's, and so he, you know, he tries to support that community. But anyway, real interesting guy. Yeah, and you know what? I was just thinking too. If you wanted, if it, if it worked out, if we wanted to do a a group in, a group speaking thing or something like that along the same lines and have some fun with that, um, yeah. I mean, I, I got tons of material. You just tell me what the top what topic we want to cover. If you want to just cover, you know, the refirement zone for God's sake. I mean, if you want to talk, yeah, about that, I'd be happy to do that too. While we're down there, you know, as much as we can pack into a couple of days. Yeah do it yeah I mean, right you know just right. whatever you can do and i'm gonna share with you um you know my little i'll, I'll send you I'm, i was thinking about how i send you the video so you can kind of take a look at that that um program i was 
kind of plug oh yeah in. yeah 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 um you know there's a if it you know if it's a pretty big file have you ever used in the and it's free it's called we transfer no i've never used it's it. a website okay. it's called i think it's just we transfer.com and you put in your email address my email address you load the file and you send it to me and it's it's quick and easy and free i, I think i can i i know it's, i just got to figure out how i do it again and share the file out of dropbox i know i can share yeah uh, you can do you can do that you could have you uploaded it to youtube no because i don't have it i have it on my it's I'd have to look and see. I might have. No, I don't. I have. I just have it Dropbox because I was still editing. Um, it's 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 there. I can put it on YouTube. But I, the thing that I, as I told yeah. you, the YouTube thing, when it's private and then you give access to it, yeah, I've had problems with. It. I don't. I haven't done it that much, so I've had problems with. It. Maybe that's what I'll yeah. do. Is I'll put it up as private and I'll just send you the link to it, and then you guys can look at it. Um, and my stretch, you know, when I did the small group stretch and I did the individual stretches. I also did a full session and I did upload it and made it private on YouTube. I'll send you that link. So if okay. you want to go through that, it's, it's just, it's easy. It's the very yeah. easy it, relax. Yeah. And that's the thing with my program. It's like, I think with your input and looking at this thing, you could either say, no, I don't think so. Or you could say, well, you know, I, and, in the course, when I talk small group, I'm, I'm saying there are different types of stretch classes. You can do the, more the athletic stretching. Yep. You can do more the the very gentle, restorative stretching. You know, there, there's all kind of stretching. Did you see the video I cut with um, Doc Shingles? My orthopedic is on the back end of it. It's about a seven-minute video, but it's on my knee managing my knee issues oh, did you see that video no i didn't do the link to that because that's up on uh on our yeah YouTube. that one um it's it's pretty decent i mean it's got some exercises that i came up with and mike i interviewed mike and then he we talked about what i was doing and he said you're doing it the right way you're managing it the right way you're good you know, created a video i'll i'll make a note of that i'll send you that yeah send that to me send the video okay i got it all right, I got to do some production work here, Jane. So I will be in touch. Okay. If you need anything, you let me know. But I will. Um, looking forward to talking to you again. It will. Uh, I don't know if we'll record again before. I'll probably talk to you because I'm going to see what courses you want me to. Uh, yeah, to yeah. For my, for my research, let's just hop on a call. Let's just get a call going and just tell yeah. me which we direction can, we can. We can even do it Zoom if you want to, and I can pull up the website and we can look at right. all great. the courses. Okay, awesome. All right, all right, Jane. All right, we'll talk to you Thank soon. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, thanks. Tell bye. Sandy bye. Well, bye bye. Bye now. Love Jane Kurth. She's so awesome. Um, she's just amazing person. Just can't say enough about her. That's it. Fit Fix Now. I'm going to be getting recerted with my uh, personal training. And so just every two years, you got to do these courses. And that's I enjoy doing the courses now. It used to be kind of a pain in the ass. Now it's it's one of those that I um, I look forward to because I can I know when I'm going to do them. And I kind of have a since I've done, them, you know, seven times now, you, you, you start to get better at things after you do, them, you know, a handful of times. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this one, everybody. You know where we're at, comatshow.com. Check it all out, share it, do all the good things. Thank you so much. Peace out. We'll talk to you soon.